Hello Texas Shakes, my name is Caitlin Joyce, I'm 23 years old and I'm so excited to be auditioning for you today. I started acting when I was in kindergarten. I played the pivotal role of Taylor number two in The Emperor's New Clothes. Yes, <laughs> uh, but I never uh, was really introduced to Shakespeare until I got to high school. My high school director, Spence White, actually worked with you guys in the past and has said nothing but wonderful things about your company. Uh, I graduated from East Carolina University in 2018. I graduated with a musical theater degree um, and I loved it there. I'm so thankful for all the training I got there. While I was there, I also was able to write and direct a musical that I titled Love a Balloonatic, The Life and Lyrics of Dorothy Fields. It's a biographical musical about the American lyricist Dorothy Fields, uh, who wrote lyrics during the 1920s all the way up into the 1970s. I'm currently uh, rewriting and making a new draft, but the original live cast recording is available on iTunes if you wanna check it out. Uh, in addition to acting and writing, I love to sing, I love to dance, I love to teach, um, and I'm also a really big fan of WWE, no shame. Um, the past two years I've been performing in theme parks and I've done a lot of children's theater and I've loved every experience but I would really love uh, to get back into Shakespeare this summer and perform with your company. All right that's it for me thank you and enjoy! He has mistook the break! I meant he's gone after his fancy. Tis now all my morning. No matter. Would it were perpetual night and darkness lord all the world? Hark! Tis a wolf. In me hath grief slain fear, and but for one thing I care for nothing. And that's Palamon. I reck not if the wolves would jaw me, so he had this vial. What if I hallowed for him? Hello! I cannot halloo. If I walked, what then? If he not answered, I should call a wolf and do him but that service. I have heard strange howls this live long night. Why may it not be? They have made prey of him. I'll set it down. He's torn to pieces. They huddled many together and then they fed on him. So, which way now? The best way is the next way to a grave. But the point is this. An end. And that is all. Who oh, knowest thou not? His looks are my soul's food. Pity the dearth that I have pined in by longing for that food so long a time. Didst thou but know the inly touch of love, thou wouldst as soon go kindle fire with snow as seek to quench the fire of love with words. The more thou damnest it up, the more it burns. The current that with gentle murmur glides, thou knowest being stopped impatiently doth rage. But when his fair course is not hindered, he makes sweet music with the enameled stones, giving a gentle kiss to every sedge. He overtaketh in his pilgrimage. And so by many winding nooks he strays with willing sport to the wild ocean. Then let me go and hinder not my course. I'll be as patient as a gentle stream and make a pastime of each weary step till the last step have brought me to my love. And there I'll rest as after much turmoil 
Blessed soul, the Elysium. Well, there's lots of things to be considered, Sam. Suppose something were to happen. Suppose I were to have a baby, say. That sometimes happens even though you don't want it to. What would we do then? We'd be tied down then for life, just like all the other people around here. They all start out loving each other and thinking everything's going to be fine. But before you know it, they realize that they don't have anything and they want to start all over again, only... It's too late. It's what you said just now about people belonging to each other. I don't think people ought to belong to anybody but themselves. I was thinking that if my mother had really belonged to herself and that if my father had really belonged to himself, it never would have happened. It was only because they were always depending on somebody else for what they ought to have inside themselves. Do you see what I mean, Sam? It's why I don't want to belong to anybody. And why I don't want anybody to belong to me. I got a ringing in my ears and my hands keep shaking. I ate seven corn dogs and I think I might die. Five more hours till the final judgment. I can hold it all together and I will not cry. Oh God, do I have a fever? Oh God, things are starting to swirl. Oh God, I was feeling so well. Now they're all gonna think I'm just a dumb little girl. Well, oh, oh, what do they know about what it takes to make a bull calf grow? 